Hello and welcome to another episode of AI Buzz. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Today we are talking about laptops for machine learning. There aren't really machine learning laptops, but rather laptops that are really good for machine learning due to having a lot of RAM or having a really good graphics card or both. Funny enough, a lot of gaming laptops are actually really good for machine learning because they have really good graphics cards on board and they also have really good cooling as well. Getting a laptop for machine learning is looking better and better by the day. I made a video recently about the graphics card shortage and how it's not expected to be fixed until quarter one, 2022. Uh, this is coming directly from the manufacturer Nvidia, as well as some other companies like Intel and TSMC. These companies are all saying their supply chain is kind of messed up and they're not expecting to deliver till at least Q1. Uh, so it's possible it will get pushed out even further. That could be an optimistic estimate on their part. So while desktop graphics cards are almost impossible to get, check out my other graphics card shortage video if you want to see exactly why that's the case. Uh, if you're not looking for a desktop card, uh, a laptop could be a great option for you. Please note when you're looking at a laptop and you see it has, say, a 3080 or a 3060 in it, uh, these are a lot of times the laptop versions of those cards. Uh, so they're not the full desktop version uh, that would not fit usually within uh, a laptop form factor, but they're still extremely performant and you still get a piece of that new Ampere technology. One of the laptops for machine learning that I'm going to talk about in this video is the Asus ROG Gaming Laptop. This laptop packs a RTX 3080 in it. It does just have 16 gigabytes of RAM, but you could easily upgrade it. I do think people are catching on that you can get uh, really good graphic cards inside laptops because even the laptops kind of appear to be selling out quickly or in limited stock on Amazon. Uh, so this particular one at the time of this filming, I saw there's just about four of them left Usually when their stock's getting really low, they'll, they'll tell you how many they actually have left for you to order. So the downside to this obviously is price. You will shell a lot for one of these laptops, but it's better than essentially not knowing when you're going to get a, a really good desktop graphics card. If you absolutely need a good graphics card and you have you know a pretty healthy, sizable budget, definitely check out one of the gaming laptops that are one of the newer versions. A lot of those will pack RTX technology inside of it. Um, so the issue with the desktop cards is not that they're expensive, they, they, they're expensive, but the bigger problem is the shortage. It's almost impossible to actually get your hands on one of these things. And if you are able to find one for sale, definitely be prepared to spend a lot of cash for it. If you absolutely need a desktop card, there are ways to actually get these. There is something called the Newegg Shuffle. So the, the website Newegg normally sells graphics cards. They're doing kind of a lottery drawing to see who is available to actually purchase their extremely limited stock of cards. The next laptop that we'll talk about is the Acer Predator. Uh, so this one packs a 3060 into a laptop and it's at probably the lowest price we're gonna look at today. It's extremely competitive. Time of this video, it's about $1,350. Uh, so, so really, budget friendly. Uh, it has 16 gigabytes of RAM. You could easily upgrade this. Uh, that's the nice thing about laptops is a lot of times you can you can upgrade the, the RAM to something higher. That's really going to be able to store some of your, your training data, data sets in there. All right, moving up to the midfield is the Razer Blade 14. So this is going to have a slightly smaller screen than some of the 15 inch laptops that you might see. However, it does have a 3070 instead of a 3060. It does switch to an AMD build as well if you're into that. So it has a Ryzen 9. It has eight cores packed into this machine. Uh, compare that to some of the six core processors that you'll see in other laptops. Really what that's going to allow is going to allow more uh, parallel processes to be running and feeding things to the graphics card. One thing to note with this particular Razer Blade 14 is that you cannot upgrade the RAM. So with the Razer laptops, they really like to have an aesthetic package and they do a lot of the same things that you might see uh, Apple do. Uh, so preventing things like upgrading RAM easily, unfortunately, is a consequence of that. All right, moving on up to the, the big leagues now. So with the Zephyrus, you get a 3080 and it also comes with 32 gigabytes of RAM. The screen is exceptionally nice too. It has this kind of funny pop out lower screen that usually you can kind of use with certain software to actually store like toolbars on there. So one of the, one of the images that they, they showed was 
uh, Photoshop and you have like your, your color palette on this lower monitor. This laptop does support upgrading RAM up to 48 gigabytes. So if you wanted to pop another 16 gigabytes in there, you could. Last up is the heavy hitter. And this is really for if you're Mr. or Mrs. Moneybanks. It's the MSI Stealth. So this beast of a laptop has 64 gigabytes of RAM and it comes with the RTX 3070. This one has a really nice mixture between memory and GPU power. It also has the i7 8 core 10870H processor, which based on my reading is a pretty decent processor for a laptop. All right, so to wrap up, I covered a couple different candidates for laptops that'd be great for machine learning uh, and to kind of illustrate what I would look for in one of these types of laptops, look for laptops that are typically used for gaming. Funny enough, uh, a lot of the same performance characteristics are desired in a gaming laptop as a laptop that'd be good for machine learning. You want a lot of cooling, good graphics card, sometimes a lot of RAM. Usually for gaming, they don't go too hard on the RAM. So that's one uh, feature you might want to look for is the upgradability of the RAM in that laptop. If you're not able to find a desktop graphics card and you're willing to settle for a laptop, definitely take a look at some of these ones that I pointed out in this video. You're still gonna get a piece of that Ampere architecture. Uh, and these, these are definitely really, really nice machines. I've noticed in the comments section that a lot of typically students like to get laptops for their machine learning courses or, or data courses, things like that, with kind of the understanding that they'll work on small to mid-sized projects locally and then anything bigger than that, they're probably going to have to learn sort of a distributed technology like Hadoop or Spark uh, to submit those big jobs to a cloud cluster. That's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. I hope some of this information was valuable if you're looking for a laptop to do machine learning on. Uh, I'll be back with you very, very soon. I'm going to talk about more machine learning and artificial intelligence content. Uh, and I will talk with everyone soon. Hope you have a good day. Bye.